Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines Industries. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back. Things, as you can see, are a little bit different. The reason being that I've just been jumping into this save for five or ten minutes here and there over the last couple of days, dabbling with things, and then just saving it and getting on with some other stuff. Uh, I had to take my cat to the vet on, like, Tuesday. He has been incredibly miserable ever since. He's got one of those cones on him to stop him from uh, scratching a wound that he has on his head. And uh, as such, he won't eat when he has the cone on. He won't use his litter box when he has the cone on. So I'm, number one, not really sleeping properly. Number two, I can't really work for extended periods of time because I need to go take the cat's cone off and then make sure he does what he needs to do, then put it back on, and that takes like 30 minutes. It's a whole thing. It's a very stressful time. I'm a crazy cat lady at heart, so it is actually, it's awful. He's so miserable right now, but it should be another couple of days and get it off. Anyway, story time's over. Let's get into some city skylines. Uh, this right here that you can see before you is going to be the transportation hub of the city. And I say of the city, I mean the entire map, the entire county is going to run through all of this. So we're going to start before I even walk through. Actually, that's a terrible idea. We'll walk through it first before I get on with things. Uh, two bus stations right beside each other. Pretty self-explanatory. Just two big bus stations. It means I can have a lot of bus stops that aren't just on a road. Bunch of taxi stands. Obviously, multi-platform train station because I want trains going through the city and through the county. We have a fire station and a police headquarters with some taxi ranks behind them and some small parks. And I've also, as I'm sure you noticed, got the, uh, the roads going up and over the train tracks because I figured, you know, that's going to look kind of cool. I just need to uh, raise those up a little bit, though, just to make sure that the, the cables are... You know, not just in the concrete. Although, maybe... Maybe one of the cables can be in the concrete and the rest of them are are not in the concrete. Either way, that's sorted. That's pretty much what this area is going to be. It's also going to be an area that has a lot of... Uh, well, it's going to be zoned as a tourism area, essentially. It's not going to be leisure. Those things are easy to mix up. Tourism is essentially going to be an area full of hotels and cafes and restaurants and things like that. Leisure is the one that is nightclubs, and I believe that's the one where the... I believe, if I'm not mistaken at least, that's the one where the stores never close or the commercial never closes. It's open 24-7. So that's pretty much what this entire space is going to be. It's going to be hotels. Uh, I am going to put some offices in there because I kind of have an idea of something I think could look very, very cool. But I'm going to just do this sort of thing here, cover it up, make it a district, go around like so, and bring it down. And I should probably mention as well, we've got the entire sort of outer avenue for this entire downtown area done. I say downtown. This is largely going to be residential up here. This might be... We could probably get away with trying to do a university up in here. Like, up in here, actually. This could be residential and commercial, same here, but, like, university right in there next to the transit hub could be a very good idea. I'm also realizing it could also be a very good idea to do something like this. Because if I don't do this, then there's not really any good way to get across, is there? So something like that is going to let people cross over the train tracks nice and safely. And we can do the same thing on this side. So up to there, straight across and straight down. And again, people can just get across there nice and safely. They don't have to uh, go the whole way around. Then they can go to wherever they need to go. That'll probably do us a fair few favors right there. Uh, gonna do similar here, I think, just to get some... 
some paths in, really just because I can on this one. Uh, I'm gonna select these nodes as well. And just try to move them a little bit closer to the roads there. I think that looks alright. These ones could probably probably be uh, adjusted too. They're not perfect. I mean, they they don't really you know match the the path all that well. I think these ones are probably a little bit better, but we're probably okay. I don't think we need to. Uh, I don't think we need to change anything here. I think we're probably probably all right with uh, with what we've got. So. Let's go ahead and put in the specializations. I do want any offices in those areas to be IT clusters. I want the commercial stuff to be tourism, which is hotels, restaurants, and other activities. Uh, and then there's not going to be any residential in there at all. So let's go ahead and start laying this out. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is throw offices like this. And then I think down here is going to be commercial. This is going to be left open. Right here is going to be commercial as well. And I think most of this probably will be. Although I guess we could probably get away with some offices in here as well just to just to have some really tall buildings in here. That's that's kind of all I want is just super tall buildings. I also think I'd like to try and get away with a uh a little something like this. Again, mostly because I can. But I just think that's gonna look... That's gonna look kinda nice. So just something like that to break up the area a little bit. Could probably do the same here. Again, just break it up a little bit, let people walk through there. And we'll see as this all builds. I mean, right away we can see just how tall those IT cluster buildings end up being. So they are going to surround the train station, and I think they're going to make it look really, really cool when that whole area is built up. We should also see connections come across there fairly soon. It shouldn't take too long for these guys to actually get power. Now, while that's all going on, I do actually want to go ahead and start figuring out how we're going to connect this all to the highways, because while we have this as a highway entrance, that's fantastic, uh, it's actually not... Not really doing us all that many favors. So, we need another entrance, basically. We really, we really need another entrance. Because, like I said, this one's good, but it's gonna get very busy, especially once I get more buses coming and going around here. Which I'm gonna do very soon. I'm gonna do that very, very soon. Uh, so let's try and figure this out, I suppose. And uh, part of what I'm thinking is maybe cloning this idea. And maybe cloning that idea up here as well. So... What if we were to say... That we wanted to go... To there. Also, <laughs> I should probably mention this. Uh, the radio station. Synthetic Dawn Radio. I believe this is the one that released around the time of Industries as well. Uh, I think it's from... It's inspired by Surviving Mars, or it's the soundtrack of Surviving Mars, I think. Uh, so, it's either Surviving Mars or Stellaris. I can't remember which one. Either way, pretty cool radio station, other than the ads, but that's radio for you. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and delete all my boss lines. Gonna be deleting every single one of these. I'm gonna be deleting every single one of the tram lines as well. Because, honestly, the time has come. We're gonna be taking out all of this. All of this needs to go. Uh, pretty much all of this needs to go. And this is gonna hurt our income, by the way. So, the game's gonna be paused for a little while uh, while I do this. But there's a reason that I'm doing this that'll make itself clear once those buildings are all gone. So we just lost about 18,000 people from the city, and this whole thing over here doesn't actually have power anymore. But, on the plus side, which I know it's hard to believe there's a plus side to all of that, uh, but there is one. There absolutely is one. On the plus side, we are now in a situation 
where I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this power line can, for one, go underneath there. And uh, we can also raise you up quite considerably. And just go like, well, that, honestly. Uh, because that'll give us a power connection for all of this space. This entire set of highway traffic is, well, it's probably going to have some trouble getting into the city. But it can all flow along here onto the new bit of highway. It can all still go down here if it needs to. It's not that we're necessarily going to need a lot of it to go down there, but it can go down there if it needs to. But this is going to give us a good, uh, good connection. I'm also thinking I'm going to go ahead and take all of this out. And I'm just going to throw another one of these guys. Actually, maybe one of these. Yeah, let's do a, let's do a cloverleaf right there. I don't know how good of a cloverleaf that's going to be because it is on a hill and we did use anarchy to place it. Yeah. That is uh, beautiful. Is what that is. It is a, a beautiful, <laughs> B-E-A-utiful cloverleaf junction. Uh, <laughs> uh, it will do. It'll do the job. It'll give us some connections, and that's kind of what's important there. That's kind of what we want from it, so that'll come in quite handy. Uh, I just want to make sure that the speed limits are actually set properly on it, because should still be 100 in those bits. We don't want traffic slowing down too much in those bits. So we'll keep it going at the same speed. Everything should be good there. All of this can flow in the way it was. And uh, that'll let us expand a little bit. Now, what I want to do uh, is actually not going to be entirely possible now that I think about it. Huh. Okay. Tell you what we're going to try and do then. We're going to try and go... Let's see. I'm gonna try and go here. Turn off the guidelines, go 20 units, and that's actually okay. Now what I really want to do is have a good connection into the city here. I want traffic from this side to be able to get in, I want traffic from this side to be able to get in as well. So what if I go 40 units there and done? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what if I do something like this instead? Now obviously the zoning in that's a bit weird. Eventually these two will be connected together, but... Uh, you know what? I mean, we're losing a fair bit of money as it is. Let me just delete all of this. Because I, I don't want to have to uh, half build things because of the old city. So let me just take all of these buildings out of here. And all of that. Come up to there. Go to there. And what I'm thinking we do is we find the midpoint here, which is right there. And turn on the guidelines real quick. If we come off of that midpoint, we can go one, two, three. And then we can switch this type of road for a second. Go into there. Now, let's see. Ten would be about there. So what I want to do... is go from here, like this, and upgrade you. Then obviously sort of tweak that a little bit. It's going to look kind of nasty, but I think I can make it work. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now the real question becomes, can I use the straight slope here real quick to make this look nicer? Uh, I absolutely can, and I want it to be raised. Alright. So it's not a super long road, but it is, a, it is a nice little slope going in there, which is good. I think we can probably raise this up as well. Just 
get it a little bit steeper. So it's a little bit smoother. This right here should probably be raised up as well, just to make it look a bit less weird. Then this kind of needs... This whole thing needs just changed after that. So let's just take all of these roads out. And just completely replace them with a nice straight slope like that. There we go. So that is a way into the city for traffic that comes off of here. And it's a bit of a weird place for it, but I think it works. I also think bulldoze that curve and do this. Keep that normal, turn off straight slopes. Come straight under there. Go straight to there. Uh, now we do have some pillars on the road here. That's not ideal, but I think that's fixable if I just grab both of those and say, you know, move them a little bit. So that one can go there. This one obviously needs to come in a little bit. But that takes them off the road. This one can go there, I think. So that one's still on the road, then that one's fine. So there we go. That all connects together. We can connect all of this together as well. And we can probably get rid of you. So there we go. That gives us another bit of weird space to work with, which I'm kind of happy about. And it is going to be weird space because we don't actually have an avenue on the outside of that highway, which we probably should do, actually. So let's see... Let's see if I can actually get away with that. So go to guidelines here. And let's see. So I think there is roughly the point we want this to go to. Which is going to be tricky with everything we have here. So that all needs to go as well. This is going to be... This is going to be interesting to get it up and running. That's for sure. It is going to be very interesting getting this all up and running. Because there's going to be a lot of things... From the old city... They just aren't connected. So let's see. We want to go from there. And we just want this to... Pretty much curve... I think like that. No, not quite like that. Okay, what if I did that instead and come up this way? So I think there. I think that's right. Either way, it looks okay. It sort of borders the highway the way I want it to. Obviously, it doesn't border it in here, but that's okay. I think. I think I'm okay with that. I can't... I'm not certain that I am, actually. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm actually going to do this. Just, uh, just to stay consistent. Just so it's consistent, I'm going to do that. I'm also going to just put that in the middle of the, uh... The avenue there, because I like doing that. I think it looks quite cool having the pillars... In the, uh, in the middle of the avenue. So there we go. Uh, so that keeps us consistent. That gives us, you know, avenue on the outside of the highway there as well. It actually gives us room to have a little bit more fun, I think, with some of the traffic on this side as well. We can do that in a little bit. But what I want to go ahead and do is actually start zoning some residential in here. Uh, because obviously we're losing a lot of money. We've lost a lot of people. We have a lot of demand for residential. So let me start putting in some roads here. And what I think I'm going to do is not that, actually. <laughs> I realize that's unnecessary. Uh, I want to go like this. And I want to do the same on this side. Coming into those two points. Because I want to do something like that. Just something nice and simple. A couple of nice, big, straight roads going straight up to uh, that one with grass on it. And then on this side, I want to do another grass-lined road, but I want it to be right about there. Because that's actually going to really nicely border the, uh, the train line, which is perfect. So we're going to be keeping with that idea, where we keep the, the train lines perfectly bordered. So that uh, building is going to be right up against it. And I just, I think, you know, when they when they get built and when the trains get moving, that is going to look awesome. 
It really, really is, for sure. Uh, the only downside is this bit kind of misbehaving. I wonder if I can fix that with a park. Or a plaza. A plaza totally fixes it. Okay, so we're going to do a plaza there and a plaza there, just to keep it kind of symmetrical. That'll just sort of boost the leisure in the area anyway. And then maybe we do the same thing up here. So this road goes from here to there. And like that. Now those are obviously, you know, those, those roads are quite close together, but... I feel like that's not a bad idea. And then here... Uh, all the way up to there. Even though the zoning is a little bit weird on it. Wonder if I could tidy that up. No. Zoning is perpetually going to be weird on these. I don't... I just don't know why. I don't know where I've messed up my measurement in there and it really bugs me. It really, really bugs me, but I just... I just don't know where it is. I don't know where the messed up measurement is at all. So I think we're just going to have to... Uh, I think we're just going to have to live with that. Which sucks, man, but that's 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 all we can do. I just don't know where the messed up measurement is that's causing this all to uh, to misbehave in the way that it is. Let's see. Can I tidy that? Oh, wow. That just made that worse. We all want to be okay, uh, that's fine. We have some weird gaps that we're just going to have to deal with, I suppose. I really don't want to have to deal with them, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's not, but it's going to have to be. Uh, let me go ahead and do another avenue up here. Just because I can. Going to do trees on those roads as well. But if I do that, we can basically make those into a couple of very small districts. Is that acting up as well? That is acting up. I don't know what's up with the uh, the zoning on these roads. This one's actually wrong as well. Is it anarchy? I think anarchy might be the. Uh, I think anarchy might be the culprit here. I actually think it might have just been anarchy that's kind of. Messing things up a little bit here. Uh, no, that side is completely messed up as well. And now that bit's messed up. Oh my god. Oh wow, that is just not... <laughs> that is just not happening, is it? Well, that's annoying. Okay. Can I... So now this bit's weird. Oh my god. And now that bit's weird. I don't know what I've done with this. I just don't know. But I think I'm just gonna have to, uh... I think I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Annoyingly. Why is that raised up? Stay on the ground, please. So then this goes across... I guess it's not, it's not as bad as it could have been. Definitely not perfect, but that's 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 still annoying me a lot. And I've broken the zoning in here completely. Great. I've made it all a lot worse. There's gonna be some really awkward gaps in there that I'm not looking forward to. Okay, well, I guess, <laughs> I guess we're just dealing with it. Uh, let me see, let me do a road here as well. Just, just a little something to, uh, let's get the zoning in there, I guess. There we go. So just something like that, I guess, will, uh, fill up that space. These spaces are being left open. These are going to be mostly residential, so I guess let's get to it, right? Let's start zoning things. And what I want to do is a lot of commercial along these roads here. So all the way up there is going to be commercial. 
And the same thing all the way up to uh, there. And then I think... I mean, around the train station should definitely be commercial as well, but only about as far as I think there. Because if I start doing all of that as commercial, it is going to be too much. We all know it's going to be too much. We all know that I, I have a tendency of zoning too much commercial as well, so... Uh, I mean, these bits here can be offices. That's fine. I don't mind those bits being offices. But these are all going to be residential in here. Uh, just because, again, we are going to need that population. We need that boost to the population. These bits up here, residential as well. Let's say these bits in here can all be offices, just to be a little bit different. And uh, let's get that to be a district. It is, it's already a district. Fantastic. Okay. So this is going to be a small district. Which is Linden Heights. Then this is going to be Elizabeth Heights. I think I've already talked about the fact that Linden is... One of my favorite names in city. I every so every city skyline series, and I feel like I have this conversation in every series as well. Uh, but every city skyline series, I tend to uh, I tell a bunch of different stories, right? Every every other episode, there's some story about something that doesn't actually tie into the episode, and uh, I feel like several times. I mean, the game's been out for almost four years, uh, but at this point, I feel like I've told the story about how I like the name Linden several times. I, I feel like there's no point bringing that up again. But at the same time, I mean, there's a lot of new people on the channel since then, so... I mean, I, I don't know. I always feel... I always feel wary in general um, telling any stories and videos, because I... I don't do a lot, so I don't actually have a lot of stories. I'm not a... <laughs> I'm not actually a very interesting person, guys, just so you know. Uh, but, yeah, I always, I always get wary telling any kind of story just because of that. Uh, I realize I'm doing a, I'm doing a district there when I don't need to. This, this little area doesn't have roads that go anywhere. So this is actually an unnecessary district, but whatever. It has been done, so, uh, it can stay. Take it off the highway, even though we don't need to. Take it off of you, and take it off of you. Alright. Uh, this down here is gonna be a district as well, so we'll go ahead and just sort of zone that out a little bit. And that'll stop traffic from wanting to, uh, to go through there. That is Hawthorne District, which is a pretty good name. So we'll just take all of the excess zoning out of there. And on this side, very similar story, just going right up to the highway, right across, straight down, and we fill it in all nice. So there we go, that's Dean Square, which I'm pretty sure we already have over there. That's interesting, got two Dean Squares in the space of five minutes. Alright. Let's, uh... I don't know, Dean Square becomes... Seamus Square. There we go. Good old Seamus Square. <laughs> Alright. So that's all laid out in its districts. We need to go to each of these now and be like, uh, yo, let's have Old Sign. Old Sign. And just every single one of them needs the Old Sign policy to, uh, to stop traffic from going through them when it shouldn't. Uh, probably don't need it there. Don't need it there. So that should be okay. That should be all of those districts set. Uh, they're all set to build as well, but they don't have water yet. So let's go ahead and take all of these pipes out and get the new pipes in. Okay, things are starting to come together around here. It's obviously still quite patchy, but we're getting a bunch of buildings in, even though they're definitely in weird places on the roads. Uh, I've realized just how I sort of weirdly sloped a lot of these roads actually are, which is unfortunate, but whatever, it'll add character once it starts looking super dense around here, which is hopefully going to be kind of soon. 
I'm also thinking it's probably time to get the bosses back in. So, what I want to do, considering we got rid of bosses that we had down here before, is I want to try and... Well, I guess we... You know what? We'll start with the easy ones. Okay, we'll start with the easy bosses. Uh, now, let's see. If you go like that, you're fine. You have to go the whole way around. That's fine. You got to go like that. That's fine. Okay, so the bosses can do what I want them to do. All right. We're going to start here. And we're basically going to say that this first bus line is going to go out to this industrial area. Because I figure... You know, we probably want people to be able to get out here. So something like that is just going to be a direct line straight out to that industrial area. The bus comes back in. This one is going to go straight out to the suburban area here. And then to here. We'll bring it across this side. Over to there and back in. And again, it's going to be, you know, straight back in there. Alright, now this one's going to go out to the industrial spaces out here. And I want it to go there. I think it should go along this road. Come down through here. I do want it to come into the forestry area. But just right in the middle. I don't think it needs to go, you know too far in there, although that looks like it's going very strange there. Why is it not turning left there? So that'll make it turn left, but that... That's interesting. I think I've got the... Uh, I might have the lane management set up wrong there. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll have it come in, and then this is going to go back to here. All right, so we'll complete that line. I want to have a look at this, though. I want to see why that is uh, is being so strange. So let's see. Left goes there, and then... Yeah, it does go where I want it to go, so why wouldn't it... Unless it can't get there? Oh, it can't. You need to be able to go there. Right. I think we figured this out. Because I realize the bus is going down onto the highway there when it doesn't need to. There we go. So that's fixed it. Okay. I, I realize I sort of messed something up pretty catastrophically there. Uh, but that's sorted. This next bus is going to go from here to this industrial space. Even though it's, it's losing a lot of workers right now. That is... That's a bit of a concern, but... We'll make that work. So go to there and bring it back in to here. And then this one can go out to the oil area, I suppose. So let's see. Let's have it come in. And go, I think, down here. We'll have it stop in front of each of the, uh, each of the oil rigs. Or maybe not each of them. Maybe that one and that one. Let's have it go up into the district itself and then back into the heart of the city. This is obviously going to be very, very busy. I just want to point that out. I, I know that this is going to be very, very busy, uh, this entire area with bosses. But it's working exactly the way I want it to. Which is the whole, you know, coming in and going a little, you know, in here and then leaving straight on the highway. That's, that's what I want it doing. I'm also thinking I'm going to need a little bit of uh, strict lane management here. So, let's say there and there. You can go straight on. You can go to the right. You can go there and there, and you can go to the right. Then here, I want to have a little bit of... Uh, little bit of strict merging the way I usually do. Because I want to see what that does for my bus lines. So that ever so slightly moves them around. I think. Did that move them around at all? It, it kind of did. 
And then what we can do is say, you know, maybe that lane goes there, that lane goes there. This guy goes there and there, and straight on. You go uh, there and there. You go straight on. So let's see what that does for my buses. Also, I realize my buses might actually need to be able to go like this. Which I know that's I know that's kind of silly letting them go to you know whichever lane they want, but it's really just gonna be buses in there, so it should be okay. That should that should work out. Even though I think I mean Yeah, they can go to the lane they need to be in. So I realize what I can do is just say, you know, stick to the stick to whatever lane you wind up in. And they should still be able to do what they want to do. Except for one of them, apparently, which is still merging. Either way, that'll put them where they need to be. Uh, as for here, let's say, you know, stay in lane, stay in lane, stay in lane, stay in lane. Uh, right here, similar story, sort of stay in your lane. There we go. So that should tidy things up a little bit. We're having some power problems though, which is very bad news. Uh, the good news is I have a nuclear power plant that I can place on, so let's solve our power problems. Boom. There we go. So that should solve all of those issues. As for the issues with the, the number of buses, I mean, that's a whole nother thing. What is going on here? That's going on here. Right. The power problems weren't actually anything to do with a lack of power. That's great. At least this is all connected again. Uh, this area is actually immediately starting to get very busy too. So let me go ahead and put another bus line over here because I want to... I want to have a bus that goes... Let's see. I want it to go here. But I want this one to actually go, like, up into the suburb itself. And then I want this one to come in like this and there. And then to here. Uh, I feel like it should go to there and back to here. And then, again, sort of continue into a lot of this space. Uh, it should probably come around. And up into, uh, up into here. And I do want it to go to that stop there. So let's have a go there and do that sort of thing. The only issue I'm seeing is that I think... Oh no, it can, can... It still can come up in here. So there we go. So that's basically going to be a, a series of like shuttle bosses that go all around the suburb. So that should be pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can maybe change and, you know, change the color of these bosses. Because I want to make it look kind of colorful here. Because it's going to be quite a miserable area. It's going to be so busy that it's going to be... It's going to be terribly, terribly miserable. So bus line one, two, three, four, five, and then six is this one. So let's do... Bus line one is going to be bright red. Bus line two is going to be sort of a pinkish color. Bus line here is going to be a, a purple color. This one is going to be sort of a strong blue. Uh, this one is going to be more of a, a light blue, I guess. This one's going to be more of a tealish kind of blue, I guess. Actually, no, that one that one's kind of the outlier, honestly. So this one is going to be... I'm going to make that one white. And I'm going to do it as uh, boss line zero. If I can. There we go. So boss line zero is going to be that one. So there we go. This whole area should now look a lot more colorful. Which is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, we have a lot of people coming in here. 
so, so many people walking in here. So many, in fact, I reckon I could maybe get away with a little bit of path right there. <laughs> uh, not quite what I had in mind. In normal mode, maybe. So there. And over here as well. Let's just adjust that so it, you know, touches the curve a little better. So something like that. Uh, we'll do the same over here just to make it look a little bit nicer. And here as well. And I think I'm actually going to just change it to be that kind of path. Because as nice as the other one is, this one actually connects to all the concrete, and I like that a lot more. So there we go. So I imagine people will probably start using that. I also reckon I could maybe get away with a uh, little bit of path here and a little bit of path there. Yeah, there's a couple of people using that, which is good. I imagine it'll also be a lot busier when we get the uh, the subways and all that stuff through here. But good lord, this area is just... It's, it's, it's busy. It's very, very busy. What is, what is that red line? Like, the red line goes... Oh, the red line's going out here. So wait, the red line is like super popular? It is. Interesting. Okay. What about the, uh, what about the white line then? So how's it looking in terms of popularity? Very popular. The pink line's very popular out here. Uh, the white line is... It's fairly popular. I mean, people are wanting to get around, which is nice. And I think, you know, I think those buses bring a really nice, <laughs> nice amount of color to this whole place. So I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, this road is actually getting used, which is fantastic. This road is immediately proving to be super busy, which isn't great. But what I'm going to do is so you guys can actually enter that junction. And you can enter that one as well. And you guys can enter that one too. Just because I really need the bosses to keep moving. <laughs> uh, we really can't have them tailing back. So the more this... See, this is where things start getting tricky with all of this. This road here is going to start getting very, very busy. So we need to make sure people are picking their lane early on and, you know, whatever lane they need to be in, you know, stay in it. That's, that's kind of the way that works. So pick your lane and get to it. Even though some of them are floating and not actually, no one's actually going to that outside lane. Which is a bit weird. Maybe they can't. Maybe the way I've done the curve on this, they can't go to the outside lane. Is that better? That actually seems like it has fixed it, yeah. At least a little bit. We have some traffic going to that lane. Huh. That is a bit weird though, isn't it? The way the traffic is uh, kind of avoiding that, that outside lane. Oh no, I think, it, I think it is actually fixed at this point. So yeah, these guys, these guys are having some trouble because they got a, they got a U-turn there. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's put some priority signs in there so that, that that traffic has to give way. That's actually something I've done the whole way up on these roads as well. So all of the little side streets have uh, give way signs rather than anything else. Um, we've lost power again, haven't we? Yep. Absolutely have. Tell you what we're going to do. You know, D-zone that entire space. And going to, uh, gonna reroute the power completely. So power can go, let's see, out to there. Straight across to there. And straight down to there. So that whole space here has been dezoned. We can go ahead and take out the power connections to, uh, to all of that. We can take out this connection. And 
we can go ahead and start just bulldozing whatever's in here. Because we've actually managed to get a new city center going, which is kind of nice. Other than the complete lack of commercial zoning, which is sort of to be expected, I guess. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of to be expected. Uh, let's go ahead and do some commercial zoning up to here as well, just on the, on the sides there. Because then I think I want to do offices the whole way around. And I know the offices will, they will take jobs away from, uh, from industry. I, I do know that. That's something that a few people have been pointing out to me as uh, a potential issue, and that's, you know, why... Uh, the industrial areas are having issues with not enough workers, but I'm not too concerned, honestly. Uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal because it will pick up eventually. You know, it will eventually be uh, something that recovers and that gets balanced out and that we we manage to work out for the better. So it'll be all right. It's, uh, it's a temporary thing while the new city sensor comes together. And I think the new city sensor... I mean, sure, we haven't built anything up here yet, but I think it looks okay. I, uh, I do think it looks okay. So let's go ahead and take all of these trees out of, uh, of what was once Belmont Gardens. We'll take the fences out, take the paths out. Just take all this stuff out. Wouldn't want to be that guy. There's one dude driving around this area. Gonna be driving there for the rest of your days, I'm afraid, bud. Because there is no, uh... Oh, there is still a highway connection. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not quite sure where they're going. There we go. So there's now nothing left in there other than a bit of, uh, district zoning. We'll go ahead, get rid of all of this. And just like that, the old... City sensor is uh, is pretty much gone. You know, I think this is all coming together pretty well. The buses are, I mean, they're crazy and traffic's not great. But I did do this, which is hopefully going to do us a few favors because I noticed a lot of traffic tailing back down here, and I noticed a lot of it was trying to loop around in order to get onto the highway down here. So what I've done is I've made this as, you know, a way onto the highway. Now, you can't come down the road and get on there. You have to be going in this direction to get out onto that little slip road to get out onto the highway. But it will take a little bit of traffic and it will hopefully just ease things up a little bit on, uh, on this road over here, which is definitely, definitely having some problems. Hopefully that'll, you know, sort itself out and hopefully that'll be all right. Because I, uh, I definitely don't want all this traffic done here and I definitely want to figure out if there's maybe a way we could just make that a little bit easier. Because it doesn't feel like, it feels like very little of this traffic is actually moving. And I think, I think I know the reason. And I think, honestly, does that help it if I do, no, that probably won't. I think we need to do this. I think this traffic basically needs to be allowed to uh, to enter the intersections, even when it's full. That way more of the traffic will actually flow at any one time. So there we go. Immediately we can see a fair bit, not a whole lot, but a fair bit more of that traffic actually moves. And a lot of it is actually going out to the highway. A lot of it is going out to that highway, which is good news. I think I might throw a little avenue through here so that some of that traffic can get out easier, but it actually looks... It looks like it might be starting to clear out, so we might not need to do that. We actually might not need to do that. We might be okay. Anyway, ladies and gents, I am going to leave it there for today. Not sure how long this episode will have been. I do apologize for the whole, like, I guess, complete lack of a, an upload schedule the last couple of weeks. Uh, I would love to say that this video will be the one that puts it back on track, but I have a lot of things going on at the minute, some of which I can talk about, some of which I can't talk about. 
just a lot of a lot of things a lot of a lot of life things a lot of work things just a lot a lot a lot a lot of uh, of different things going on that's just making it kind of difficult to stick to uh, a set upload schedule but i will try my best i know people have been asking about prison architect and two point hospital and a bunch of different games as well absolutely going to be getting back to those very very soon and uh, I'm also going to be getting back to focusing on industry very, very soon. You know the whole name of the expansion industries, that whole industry? Yeah. Going to be getting back to focus. I don't want to say, well, focusing is maybe not the right word, but we're going to be getting back to those hopefully in the next episode. Uh, because this is, I think we're roughly making a, a little bit of money here and there. So what I'd like to do is actually go in and start putting together some proper production lines. Because that's not something we've actually done yet. We have a lot of the unique factories and I'd like to get things like the, the later factories going. So like the sneaker factory or the modular houses or uh, the shipyard or the food factory, the car factory. I want to get all these production lines going. I'm also noticing this uh, nightmare for traffic right here. That's... A little bit alarming. Gonna have to figure something out for that as well. But ladies and gents, that is gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.